Escape to the action at Seminole Casino Hotel Immokalee. It is Vegas style 24 7 because just like Vegas, Seminole Casino Hotel never closes. It's pure entertainment anytime you want, and it is truly where paradise wins. <laughs> First comes love, then comes marriage. But wait, did you see that red flag? Here to help see the red flags of dating on this Motivational Wednesday is David Essel, a master life coach, author, and inspirational speaker. Good morning. Oh, it's so good to meet <laughs> Stephanie. That's funny. <laughs> it's the truth, though, right? Is, you kind of get that head fog a little bit, when, especially when you're first dating someone, yes. I think. So yes. you don't really notice the things that might not be so good for you in the relationship. And I love that you say this. Actually, this is a fact. Within 30 to 60 days, we all have the information that we need to know if somebody is a great match for us. Yeah. That's relatively quick. Oh, it's real. I mean, there, there are people are showing their true colors right away. Yeah. But, you know, because <laughs> of our desire to be in a relationship, because society, there's so much pressure, especially for women, mm -hmm. to be in a relationship. And because of hormones, you know, I mean, lust is a very good yeah. thing, you know, but it also can be a very tricky thing to work through that we don't pay attention to the red flags that are right there. They're screaming at yeah. us within 30 to 60 <laughs> days, Stephanie, but we're going, no, 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 we're fine, we're fine. So if it's just been a, a, a month or two, don't be afraid to cut that person loose right. if for some reason you think there are some red flags yeah. going on. Yeah, we've got to look very closely because, I mean, they're showing within 30 to 60 days, and when people are open and eyes are open, not just everything else, but their eyes are open, <laughs> then we can grab it and say, okay, this was a good person to learn from, yeah. but I don't need to be with them. I Crucial. think that's a good point, too. You, you, have, to, you have to realize that these are situations really relationships to, to learn from. It's not yes. necessarily a waste. You can learn from that and make your, your future with somebody a lot better. Exactly. You know, I have a video on YouTube. We have 500 videos on YouTube for free on personal mm -hmm. growth, and one of them is called Machete Dating. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm getting an image in you, my head. You got it. And we teach our clients that within 30 to 60 days, if we're seeing those things that aren't compatible with us, they could be great for yeah. someone else, yeah. right? Absolutely. But it's not compatible for us. We need to take that machete out, <laughs> cut ourselves free, and move on. Okay, let's get out the machete. What do we need to start cutting? What should we be looking out for? Okay, number one is potential. Do not date someone for their potential. And so many of us make a mistake in this. You know, it's like, well, we, you know, as soon as their divorce is ready or done, yeah, they're going to be. A, flag. That's a big one. They're going to be a great partner. Or, you know, even though they're struggling right now and they don't have a job, mm -hmm. and this isn't anything nailing people that don't have jobs, yeah. but th their potential. We're dating someone for their potential. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they've never been taken care of in the past, like someone by me, like me. Right. So once they're really nurtured and loved, their true colors will come out. You know, all those kind of things. We're dating for potential. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. So when someone also, uh, other than potential, when someone maybe relies on alcohol to celebrate or, yeah. or when they're bored maybe uh, or when they are frustrated, that's probably a big red flag too, I would assume. It really is. And there's nothing wrong with having a glass of wine or a drink here and there. But when someone is repetitively saying, hey, let's go here and it's alcohol related. Yeah. And let's go there and it's alcohol related. That's that's a red flag because alcohol and love, intimacy, honesty don't go hand in hand. They don't really make a match, huh? They don't really. Uh, it, it, can you, is it also true, is there any truth to maybe that kind of bringing those bad habits on yourself too, maybe if you're not that type of person but you're surrounding yourself oh. by someone that is? Stephanie, that is a great point. You know, codependency, which is a huge, we're going to talk about that yeah. in a future segment, but codependency is, is sta a statement of that is that we're afraid to be rejected by people. Yeah. We're afraid to be judged. So we might date someone and do things that aren't normally healthy for us that we wouldn't normally mm -hmm. do in order to stay in the relationship. Big red flag. Well, and also in relationships, you don't want somebody who, who kind of has that connection with a, a former relationship and maybe shares children, too. Is that Would that be a red flag? Well, if the relationship between the person you're dating and their former partner is tumultuous yeah. all the time, that's Not a, a red idea. flag. We, okay. we, you know, we want to say, listen, when you get this worked out with your former partner mm -hmm. and your kids and everything is copacetic and fine, we could see each other. But that's bringing drama and chaos into yeah. your life, you know? Also, someone who doesn't follow their word oh. or maybe is always late don't you hate that oh Somebody my gosh doesn't you follow know. their word oh <laughs> it, it, it drives us nuts. You know, for those people that have a lot of integrity, and integrity is simply following your word, when you're dating someone and they're, you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes late, mm -hmm. there's always an excuse. They say, yeah, sure, I'll pick up your dry cleaning, and they never do, yeah. or whatever. That's a massive red flag, and that person probably isn't going to change. So now, if you want to accept the fact that someone is always breaking their words and that's okay mm -hmm. with you, go forward. Mm -hmm. But for most of us, it's not going to work. This next one's pretty important, too. It's the victim. <sighs> 
Yes. <laughs> if we are dating someone that blames all of their former partners for the problem. Yes, on the past relationships. I've heard this before. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. You know, well, you know, I dated this person, but they were an idiot. And I dated that person, <laughs> and they... It was never your <laughs> That's fault. That's right. <laughs> and they cheated on me seven times. And we go, okay, well, if they cheated, why would you stay yeah. past the first yeah. two if you were, you know, serious <laughs> about taking care of yourself? So we want to make sure that we're not dating people that are blaming society, their family, yeah. their former lovers, that victimhood will tear you down. It takes two in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. So these are red flags. They're not always obvious to everyone around us, but uh, for 25 years as a master relationship coach, David has been helping thousands of singles and single people navigate the world of dating. Uh, he has a special offer that he would like to extend to our Morning Blend viewers. If you mention the Morning Blend, David, what do they get? They get actually one free session with any of our programs that they join. So all they have to do is email us, tell us that they're watching us on the morning blend and whatever program they sign up for they get an extra session absolutely free just for being with us here every Wednesday certainly take advantage of your special offer I love that you're joining us every Wednesday now yeah. we learn so much when you're here good thank you Stephanie it's a blast if it's you would like to fun. learn more about David Essel and his programs check out his website it's talkdavid.com and then of course we are also gonna have all of this information posted to our website at fox4morningblend.com and up next, a smile you can see for miles after one visit to this local dentist. Stick around.